So what happens when you tear up the threads on your on your engine here and looks like you're never gonna get the thing fixed. I stripped out three of these cam tower bolts here in a row. This one, this one, and this one, and it what happens is you have a large section of gasket that just will not seal. This will pour oil out of it with no bolts in these three spots. So what we do is we buy ourselves a helicoil kit. It's very expensive, so you don't want to you don't want to do this, but if you have to, you have to. So how we do it is we take our drill with the appropriate size drill bit on the packaging, it tells you what to get, and we drill the hole out. Now I've already drilled this hole out, so it just kind of kind of drill out real easy. Like that. Nice and clean. We drill the old threads out. And get rid of all that junk. Then what we do is, part of our kit, we get this cutter here. It's going to cut us some new threads, which our helical is going to thread into. We'll get rid of some of that. And we'll run it in through this hole as straight as you can. It's going to, it's kind of pointed down at the end so it's going to align itself for you but you want to do it carefully so we don't tap this hole crooked and then the bolt will never go in so I'm going to do this get this started put our little t-handle on there we just start turning it in and turn it in turn it and turn it turn it righty tighty left loosey just like you would if you were tightening the bolt and once you get it started I'm just kind of run it down you can see it's cutting pulling out metal cutting into the head here it's not as scary as it, as it seems and spin it and spin it and spin it and spin it it works better if you have two hands especially my my right hand doing it left-handed oh, let's switch hands oh, how about that you want to run it all the way through as far as we can go there is a minimum depth that you need to drill it's described on the packaging or is it on the website either way in this case this hole kind of this kind of goes right through so it's a through hole so we're just gonna I'm just gonna run it all the way all the way through like so and then once you get it all the way down you've already cut your threads and it starts to get real easy. And then once you do that, get it all the way down, just back it out. And then we'll get ready to put our helicoil in. You do not do this with power tools. This is by hand only. Should go without saying, but somebody's gonna try to do it with a drill and it's gonna cause some problems. Major problems, major head work, probably a new head. Don't do that. It's bad. All right, so we got us a nice pretty hole with. You can I don't know if you can see that, but I thought my camera would kind of focus in for me. There it goes. It's got some nice pretty threads in there. If you had a bigger bolt, you could just kind of zip it on in there. But that's not what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take one of our one of our helicoils set you down there if you wouldn't mind and here's our new threads let's get a little tab on the end of it so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our tool like that it fits down in the little slot and then we just kind of put it in like that we thread that joker in there. We want to thread this all the way in. And this goes in pretty easy because those threads are real nice and new. Nice and clean. And then we have a perfect hole ready for our bolt we do this so we can keep the original bolt and because those threads are so nice and new and neat 
clean. It just goes in right by hand real easy. Easy, easy. And that's how we install a helix oil. I'm going to do all because uh, I don't want any leaks. Now, it should not have to be said, but all this metal stuff is going to have to be cleaned. We're going to have to use a vacuum. We're going to have to clean all these metal shavings. If that stuff gets down in the oil, man, you're going to have some serious problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vacuum all this out with a little shot vac. All these metal shavings. Probably not good to rub your finger on them because... It could hurt. And then, once I start the engine for the first time, I'm going to let it run for a few minutes, and then I'm going to change the oil again. This oil was actually just changed, like, n literally no miles ago. But, well, that's the price. Don't strip your threads.